of an old woman, 40 to 60 years, becoming an engineer. Is it possible? She's, no, uh, she's a literate person, and she don't know how to read, to write, to speak any other language except the only language uh, for, the, he, for her or his country. Uh, I am one of them. I'm a grandmother of five, and I come from Kenya. And I come from a Maasai community, a Maasai community known as like wild people. They don't, uh, many times they spend their time with animals in the forest. They are tall, mans, very healthy. They don't use medicine, they just only use uh, traditional medicine from the forest. And they are very brave. The only thing they can do, they can kill a lion with their, their own hands. I want to give you a little stru uh, story because uh, now I'm a solar engineer and I have come from some troubles that I pass through my life till here now where I am. I am a mother and the year 2007, I had an accident and one of my fingers was cut out. In the Maasai community, they have some traditional held every three years to make the youth become men's and women's. So in every traditional, uh, the, uh, every man which is the elder of the community must go with his women's or a woman. And they are, they are not uh, allowed to take one woman. You must have some women's because you are a great man and you must be a man, you, you can't be a man of one woman. So, the time, uh, I, uh, I, in the year 2007, I had an accident and so my husband is an elder in the Maasai community. And at the time we were, uh, ma we married each other, we were talking about a good family, a happy family. But one time it happens upside down. Why? When we were talking about uh, how to bring up our children educated and everything, to have many, uh, many cows, many sheep, and do every de development that is going to, to turn our life, to turn the community, and to turn everything. The community had to say no. It's, uh, the, uh, the leader is now having a uh, reject women because she don't have one of her fingers. I had to go to the hospital and the specialist was, uh, said and I was given a card to show that now I'm one of the disabled, disabled people in Kenya. And at that time, my husband married. I was crying, the crying because I knew my dream and my everything is finished. I never thought that I can overcome everything without a husband. I just only cry and cry every day. My children told me, no, mama, don't cry. You sh we shall overcome. We shall overcome. Every day, mama, don't worry. We shall overcome. We are in school. We are going to do our best. We are going to turn this family. So my children uh, were in a primary school by that time, and they had to go to secondary schools. I never had any sponsorship, so I didn't know what to do. I just only go and take some firewood, sell, so that my children could get school fees. Sometimes I draw some water, I go and sell to the women who are not able to go and draw some water and they have money. I'm given those money, I sponsor for my children. Sometimes they didn't go to school because they don't have school uniform, they don't have some school fees. So I just cry. I cry and my children don't know, Mama, no, don't cry. One time we shall overcome. And one time I was thinking of how I should overcome. 
I'm not learned. And I do, now my husband is, is having some other women. He has gone to another village. Now I'm only the one in my village. And uh, when I was thinking about it, I can see that you see me looking to that side. I was crying, crying. I don't know what to do. Uh, the Maasai community has that time uh, a celebra a celebrating uh, to make young men to become warriors, to go and kill the lion. So uh, they choose some women to go to the manyata and take their children. I was, I was thinking about how can my son be elected to go to the forest to kill a lion without using any weapon. I said, okay, I told the community, no, my son will not go and kill a, 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 a lion. Why? Because I'm a rejected woman and I'm looking after my children, so my, even my children are rejected as their mothers. I rescue my child, uh, he didn't went to the forest to kill a lion. And the children who went to the forest to kill some lions, four were killed, four came back. Because they only gave eight to go and kill a lion and to bring a head lion. And the lion is chosen by the community leaders because sometimes that lion uh, comes and destroys some cows, some sheep. So you can't kill every lion that you met. They only kill the lion which is uh, uh, yeah, making trouble to people. So they are told, go in the forest, so you will meet a certain tree, they are down, you will meet that lion, you kill and you bring a head of a lion and a tail. And the time they are coming from the forest, everyone should come out singing, women singing with some milk, giving the young ones because they have become warriors, they have now conquered everything. So uh, the Maasai warriors are, are the people who look after their families not to be affected by enemies. And how I came to be an engineer. Uh, one time I was in my village and Banga and Megan came to choose. Uh, there was uh, a cause uh, intake of Barefoot College. I'm now in Barefoot College. So they came to choose some women who will go there. So I was to be told that you are the one to who is going because I'm rejected. I'm a rejected person. I can't make. But by this time, I know I can make. I am turning all over the world. I am among the women, the old women, the grandmother who is turning over the world. So I'm happy to be here. I'm a solar engineer, a qualified one, like Anna, uh, everyone who has been to university. I didn't know how to talk English, but my children were teaching me how to, t to speak English. Uh, by, because I'm a designer in my village, I make beads, so I have to go and sell them to the tourism who comes from different countries. So my children has to teach me how to talk English, because when I met the people selling them the beads, I could not know how to talk to them. So they taught me how to, uh, to talk English. And now I can speak English, I understand English, I can write English through my children. Coming to become a solar engineer, I had a support from my children. They supported me. Oh, mama, go, you'll become an engineer. One of them is doing become Bachelor of uh, Commerce in uh, Nazarene University. The other one is doing science communication in uh, uh, Narok uh, Mara University. 
They encouraged me, Mama, go, you will be one of the engineers. We, we have confidence, you will become a solar engineer. Now I'm a Mama so engineer, I know how to make solar, I will light people's life, I will light my village using solar, because everyone knows that uh, solar is very good than paraffin. Paraffin affects people's life. Some who have uh, asthma, they are affected by the, the smoke of uh, kerosene. And now you seeing light. It's God's light from the sun. You can set the solar and get that light, light to your family, as children, uh, doing their homework, evening time, they don't have trouble. Thank you very much.